YouTube, I want to use Renpy but I'm afraid of scripting. What should I do? I created a new 2D project in Unity and now let's install Fungus. On the Asset Store in a web browser I just search for Fungus. And there it is. Fungus by Fungus Games. Let's add it to my assets. And uh, open in Unity. Let's open Unity Editor. Okay, Package Manager. Okay, if that doesn't work, let's just close this. You can simply go to Window, Package Manager. And here we can simply search for Fungus. And just press Download on the bottom right. And then after this finishes, press Import. And once that finishes, install Upgrade, press Import. And once that finishes, we can close the Package Manager and check out the Fungus folder. And the Examples folder. If you just want to see what kind of features exist, you can check out all the example folders, open the scene in there and just play it back to see what things are possible. Later, when you learn how to use Fungus in this tutorial, you can go back to these examples and check out what kind of blocks are used there for the specific things that you might want to reproduce. For example, zooming into a scene or panning a scene or playing back a sound effect or making the screen shake or flash or making a cup appear. But we're gonna start by creating a project from nothing. So let's create our own scene. New scene. I guess let's save this one. I'm just gonna save this in the folder scenes and I'm gonna call this much room. Let's see, this is now in Assets, Scenes, Much Room. We are going to start by creating a Fungus flowchart by going into Tools, Fungus, Create, Flowchart. By default, we have one new block in here. If this window does not appear, click on Flowchart, click Open Flowchart Window. If we start the game now, you guessed it, nothing's going on. So back to Flowchart, let's rename this to Welcome. And let's start with something. So press the plus on the right here and we're going to type in say, narrative say. And here we're going to just say welcome to the show. Let's try it out. Yeah, that works. You know what, I want to add a wait because the loading time kind of messes this up a little. So let's see, flowchart, flowchart, welcome. And let's add the wait command. Not frames, but seconds. I'm gonna move, say, down. Click wait, set it to, yeah, two seconds. How about two seconds? Let's start. That's a little bit better. I think we can reduce this to one second as well. I don't want to maximize on play anymore, though. So let's implement this short dialogue. Just gonna copy paste this a bit uh, and add more. Yeah, we can just duplicate this. Add more lines. Okay, and add one more line. And add one more line. And add, you guessed it, one more line. And also we want the speaker, but there are no speakers yet. How do we do that? Well, let's create the characters object. Uh, let's go to tools, fungus, create character. And we're gonna just rename this to character1 Kyle. And his name text is Kyle. And his name color will be orange. Kyle is a kind of guy who is late on the first day of school. Well, let's give him at least one portrait. Because so far if we tell that this is Kyle and uh, this is Kyle, so far we just get his name in a color. All right, time to demonstrate my horrible painting skills. Okay, so I'm gonna create by going right click here and pressing show in Explorer. I'm gonna go to assets and create a new folder here. Let's call this uh, GFX for now, just, 
just let's call that that. And I'm going to export this guy to over here. There he is with his invisible bike kind of. So now we're getting somewhere. Let's click character Kyle. Let's click on portraits and element zero, which is the first. This is going to be Kyle panic one. And let's go to flowchart, click welcome. And here Kyle is going to make an appearance as Kyle panic. How's that going to look? Welcome to the show. Oh no. Oh, okay. There he is. But there he is not. So in the flowchart, we would have to edit this as well. Call panic. Let's go back to character and change front to left arrow. Let's start. There he is. So that's the same. Actually, in flowchart, when we click on the thing and click on the say thing, instead of portrait, let's remove these. Let's add a new action and call this portrait, narrative portrait, click. All right, the portrait is going to be here between Kyle saying something and between the intro. Display show, I guess. Character Kyle, I guess. No portrait stage has been set. Okay, so we need to create a stage, which is kind of like a placement on the screen. Without those, we cannot show portraits using the portrait command. Tools, fungus, create, stage, stage. And what do we have in the stage? We have canvas, middle, left, right. All right, good enough. Let's click the flowchart window. And here, now it works. All right, so let's select Kyle Panic. We don't need to manually select the stage, apparently. We're going to select facing previous. His default is facing left, so that's fine. And position is going to be right. And we're going to say move uh, from position off screen right to right. I like that. There he is. And let's try with shift into place. Offset right. Does that make any difference? Oh, it's a fade. Yeah, I prefer not shift. Off screen right to right move. Nice. Welcome to the show. Oh no, I'm gonna be late for school again. Now we need to create a second character. So let's go to tools, fungus, create character. And this is gonna be character 2, Karen. Her color is going to be red. Karen is her name. You know who I am. And she's going to get one portrait as well. Time to draw. Okay, what a masterpiece. I saved her also in GFX. So character 2 can now have the portrait um, sprite Karen one walk. So now in flowchart, we can now add another portrait. Let's just duplicate this one, move it one down. This one will be character Karen, portrait walk, facing. Let's just configure her default facing direction, which is to the right, correct. Flowchart welcome and Karen off screen left to left. Let's give it a shot. Welcome to the show. Oh no, I'm going to be late for school again. This guy's gonna crash into me if he doesn't watch out. What's up with that girl? Oh yeah, and they already are highlighted when they talk. I mean, he is. Ah. Okay, now this needs only a little more. Flowchart welcome. Let's make uh, this be said by Karen. And also this. And also this should have a sound effect. And also let's animate portrait. Let's duplicate this, move this down. Come on, move this, move this down. And here from, from the right, from the previous position to the left, you will move. And uh, we will not wait until it's finished and we will immediately play a sound. So let's add sound. Play sound. right here. And I happen to have a sound ready. Let's just create a new folder for SFX. I'm just going to drag the file in here. Perfect. So uh, now in the flowchart, welcome. The sound effect here will be sc 
Square... Square Real Car Crash. Let's try it out. Now she is highlighted and her name is shown. Okay, and now comes a big moment. Yay! And I also quickly made some music. Let's put that in here as well. Let's just play that in the beginning. Plus music, play music. Let's put it even before the first text. And this is gonna be cheer mill. Okay, we can also just drag it in here. Okay, and it's gonna loop. Let's start. There we are. So now I want there to be a choice. We want to be able to avoid crashing or not. So this we're going to do right after... What's up with that girl? I'm totally gonna crash into her if she doesn't get out of the way. We're gonna remove wait for click. Uncheck that. And now we're gonna make a copy of this. Duplicate. And uh, this one we're gonna call crash. Yeah, just crash. And now here we have to delete everything that happens before the crash. So this delete. And here we delete everything that happens after the crash. What's up with that girl? I'm totally gonna crash into her. Here. And I'm gonna also duplicate this. And this is gonna be called crash avoided. Let's not execute these on events. So if we avoid the crash, I want the Kyle character to just move out of the screen. From previous to off-screen right, no crash sound. Deleting that. Karen's just gonna say, Phew, I didn't think that Dingus could avoid that one. Yeah, sure, why not? And if it's crashing, then it's crashing. So now at the end of this, we're gonna add narrative menu. A menu. And this needs multiple option texts. So use your hidden powers to get out of the way like this. And the target of that will be crash avoided. And now we have a connection here, as you can see, from welcome to crash avoided. Now let's add a second one. So let's just duplicate this and uh, down here, just let destiny happen. And this one will lead to crash. All right, let's give it a shot. La, crash, what's up? Okay, what? Oh, so, yeah. Looks like uh, it doesn't like the square brackets. Let's remove these. Try again. Here we go. Use your hidden powers to get out of the way or just let destiny happens. Phew, I didn't think that Dingus could avoid that one. Okay, he's a bit uh, out there. And that's the end of that story. Or we can, of course, trigger the crash. Arg. We can easily change the color of the scene by clicking on camera, main camera here, and picking white or black or gray. But we can also add uh, images. For example, if I drag in this picture here into GFX, we have that now. And in the scene tab, we could just drag it in. Yeah, it's just in the background. Just let it happen, dude. Just let it happen. Now let's play around some more with the camera or view. Let's go to Tools, Fungus, Create, View, over here. Let's call this View 1. And if we click it, we can resize it by these handlebars. So in the flowchart, let's set the view. Adding a new element. Move to view or fade to view? Let's say move to view to the very beginning. And target view will be view 1. Duration 0. Let's try it out. Yes, it kind of works. Even though for the first view, it's probably better to have the camera properly aligned. Because you can kind of see this zoom step. The wiser choice might be to simply move the main camera out of the screen. Click, gray, and then it zooms in. And let's create a new view over here. Let's rename it to view2 and resize it like that. And now, of course, we can switch between views. So let's see. Welcome to a show. After that, 
Let's change the view. View, we're gonna move to view instead of fade over here. We're not gonna wait until it finishes. Target view is gonna be view two. And let's try it out. Here we are. And I think this is enough for getting started with fungus. So have fun trying it out. Until next time, ciao.